Welcome aboard USS Cod. I'm Paul Ferrace, the president of USS Cod Submarine Memorial, and we're back here for another little bit of hidden history on USS Cod, again in the forward torpedo room, and hopefully this time I won't be cracking my uh, empty noggin on a, uh, a vent valve. I'm sure there'll be something else I can hit my head on. Uh, what I want to talk about today, though, is how you start a torpedo. Um, you put them in the tubes, you blow them out with compressed air, but something somewhere gets those engines running. And of course, right here, my cutaway is a Mark 14 Mod 5 torpedo. Of course, we know the Mark 14 was the steam fish uh, that was the primary torpedo of the U.S. Navy throughout World War II and, and of course, well into the Cold War. Uh, and we will do uh, a, a detailed uh, description of a Mark 14 at a later stage. But right now, we just want to talk about something pretty unique. How you get these torpedoes started uh, on their way to hopefully intercepting the enemy ship. Well, it's really simple. Uh, you have, in fact, a starting switch. Now, back here on the afterbody, uh, there's the turbine. Right up here, we have this amazing little metal switch. Think of it as a giant brass version of what you have uh, in your house uh, to flip the light switch on. Okay, now what trips that? Well, we're going to show you that in a minute. Uh, but that's what actually uh, uh, gets the whole mechanism started. That's what gets the, uh, the pyrotechnics uh, um, uh, going to ignite the uh, fuel, the alcohol and air mixture uh, and water in the combustion chamber that creates the steam that drives the, the, the turbines here that, of course, drives the twin uh, counter-rotating props. Uh, now, Mark 14s had the switch, but also uh, the Mark 18 electric fish. Now, come on over here. Our, our after body on the Mark 18 has an identical switch, even though this has an electric motor uh, powered by batteries. Uh, but it had a very similar switch uh, to start the electric motors. Uh, of course, the first impulse to get the torpedo moving was a giant blast of air to move it down the tube. And that's where the uh, switch gets tripped. Uh, we're going to cut away and uh, we'll be up at our tube uh, number one in a moment. Okay, here we are at COD's number one torpedo tube. By the way, it's a Mark 32 tube, so it's uh, about 22 feet long. Um, we're looking down the tube. We can see uh, some of the spindles uh, sticking out. Uh, if we start at the 12 o'clock position, we see uh, a little guide spindle sticking down precisely at 12 o'clock. That's in a, uh, a channel that's cast into the inner uh, surface of the tube, and there is a guide cleat on all torpedoes that will uh, uh, locate or orient the torpedo precisely while it's in the tube. A little bit further down, we see a uh, looks like a little torpedo, uh, looks like a little uh, ship propeller sticking down. Uh, that's one of the uh, setting um, uh, gyro spindles. Uh, that I believe is for high and low speed. And then uh, if we look down at the lower left-hand uh, periphery of the tube, we're going to see the, uh, the uh, gyro setting spindle sticking out at roughly the 7 o'clock position. Okay, well that's again uh, stuff we'll talk about at a later date, how you program your torpedo mechanically while it's in the tube. But how do we get the thing started? Now we just discussed our, uh, our light switch on the after body of the torpedo tube, but something in there has to interact with that switch to get it uh, tripped so the torpedo uh, engines, or in this case uh, of, the elect of the Mark 18 electric, the motor uh, take over uh, and propel it out the tube once the impulse air has gotten it moving forward. By the way, since we're here, uh, I'm going to have Evan pan a little bit to the right to show that big impulse, uh, uh, that little poppet valve right there. Yeah, that, that's where the air pressure is introduced uh, in the back end of the tube. Uh, to blow the torpedo uh, down the tube itself. Okay, don't climb in there, Evan, because I will slam the door on you. Okay, so speaking of slamming the door, uh, what I want you to look at is uh, roughly uh, just a little bit right of the center line um, of the tube, there is an amazing little mechanism. It's a little stop plate that uh, will come out of a, um, a slot in the tube as we close the door. 
And uh, once the torpedo is closed, that will extend directly in front of that little light switch or that actually big light switch. And that is the plate that will uh, impinge on the uh, switch to trip it to get the engines or the motor running, depending on the type of torpedo. Uh, so, okay, uh, Evan, slowly close the number one door. And uh, there you see, you see that coming down. Let's cycle the door a few times. Now, um, I hate to say it, but uh, uh, we looked for that and we never saw it. And uh, before we actually studied the manual, we weren't aware that, in fact, it, it, it only comes down when the tube is fully closed. All right, very good. So uh, if you happen to have uh, a Mark 14 uh, or a Mark 18 torpedo uh, and you want to get it running, uh, we just showed you how to start one. Now, um, a lot of the uh, submarines today in the Memorial Fleet have the uh, modification for the post-war torpedoes that had uh, electronic uh, cable connections. COD being uh, purely World War II, we do not have those upgrades. So I'm showing you pure uh, original World War II technology. So thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, um, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, notification bell, and uh, we'll join you soon with some more interesting history. Thank you.